Hello, and welcome to another episode of the series revolving around our favorite man, Elon Musk. Now, if this was a normal video on Battery Day, we'd be talking about the inventor of the electric battery, Alessandro Volta, and his birth date, 18th of February, which is now celebrated as National Battery Day. But no, here we're talking about a guy who's living in his own league and a company which promises to accelerate the world's transition towards sustainable energy and energy transportation, and a day, the 22nd of September, which will long be known as Tesla Battery Day. The man on a mission and the CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, is known to send prior clues for what's coming up in future events. Previously, he hinted on real-time firings of neurons before the big announcement of Neuralink update on 28th of August 2020, and the viewers weren't disappointed. Now that they've announced 22nd of September is their battery day, again the hints from the unfolding were out. In the Q4 2019 conference call held on 29th January 2020, Musk stated that without the cost of the batteries coming down and its supply going up, the cost of the electric vehicles, EV, would not be affordable enough, and they're currently working to reduce those costs. So, in our first prediction, we believe the announcement can align with the new supply of batteries and maybe the increase in its mass production, which will ultimately lead to the lowering in costs of the vehicles. The automaker, now valued at over $300 billion, has been working on new battery technologies for several years now. Currently, Tesla is mainly relying on its partnership with Panasonic to meet its cell demands. Panasonic, the Japanese multinational electronics company and the world's leading battery cell manufacturer, agreed to lead the battery cell production portion of the Gigafactory 1 at Nevada, U.S. Spread across 5.4 million square feet, Gigafactory is a lithium-ion battery subassembly factory owned and operated by Tesla Incorporated, which supplies battery packs for its electric vehicles and stationary storage systems. The widespread speculations regarding the company ending its partnership with Panasonic are false-hearted. As of now, Panasonic has invested billions of dollars in Gigafactory, which is the highest volume battery plant in the world, and certainly will hold true the current partnership. According to Elon Musk, Roughly a hundred of gigafactories like the one in Nevada would be essential to transit the world to completely sustainable energy consumption, and the advancement has already commenced. With an urge to increase its production of batteries, Tesla fuels the construction of new factories in Berlin, Texas, and Shanghai. The announcement on 22nd of September can also incorporate the current progression of these gigafactories. For Tesla to dominate the world market, it needs to capitalize on the biggest car market in the world, China. Reportedly, Tesla has also joined hands with CATL, Contemporary Amperex Technology Company Limited, a Chinese organization engaged in research, development, manufacture, and sales of new energy vehicle power battery systems. The world's top-selling car battery maker, CATL, which has clients like BMW, Toyota, Volkswagen, Volvo, Daimler, and Honda, has not long ago signed a two-year deal with Tesla to supply batteries. The partnership will help boost its mass production of Model 3 and Model S. As of now, the best-selling Tesla car is Model 3, which comes with an average selling price of around $55,000, double the cost of a Toyota Camry. Now, the average usage of a car comes to around 17 years, and by that time, the odometer generally clocks 200,000 miles, but on the contrary, the car manufacturers around the world offer warranties ranging from 60,000 to 150,000 miles over a period of 7 to 8 years on car batteries. Tesla is also working with CATL to introduce a new low-cost Model 3 in China with long battery life and with batteries designed to last a million miles. Jane Yukon, chairman of CATL, confirmed that his company has a battery pack ready for electric vehicles they can last as much as 1.2 million miles in 16 years. Currently, Tesla offers 250 miles in a single battery charge, which is more or less ample enough in most of the cases. But still, Elon Musk feels 300 miles will be the new normal range. With their partnership with CATL, the future for an affordable electric vehicle is not far. Now, why is Elon Musk and Tesla keen on their electric vehicles? and believes that the future will hold upon them? Here's a dig into that theory. Currently, 
The biggest natural enemy of the cumulative world is global warming, and if there is something which encourages it, then it has to be pollution. The effects of car pollution are omnipresent, affecting air, soil, and water quality. If we consider only the air quality, the reason behind 4.2 million deaths every year globally, and the reason behind America's one-third of the total air pollution, both are the impurities generated from the internal combustion engine vehicles, which run on diesel and petrol or gasoline. These impurities include smog, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and other greenhouse gases that are emitted at street level, where humans breathe the same polluted air directly into their lungs. Europe, in particular, alone witnesses close to a million premature deaths every year due to pollution-related illnesses, and if there's something which can curb it, the answer is an electric vehicle. So now there's no doubt that the electric vehicles would be the only car that would sustain in the future. But here's a stat which stimulates the future we are eyeing is still far. As of 2020, 1.4 billion cars run on roads worldwide, out of which only 10.5 million amounts to electric vehicles, less than 1%. No wonder Elon Musk wants all the batteries in the world to make it more sustainable. Now that we're constantly talking about electric vehicles and batteries, let's try to understand batteries specifically. When Elon Musk mentions he needs to cut the cost of batteries and increase the supply, the simplest answer one can afford is to recycle it. When the useful life of a battery ends, all the materials in it remain in their original form, many of which can be utilized in the recycling process. But sadly, only high-value elements are reintroduced into the supply chain. Now, we need to cash on the recycling technologies to upgrade so as to bring other materials from a battery back to life. Keeping in mind, more than half the materials in a battery cell are metals, we believe the advancement will not long to bring its effect given the fact that metals are infinitely recyclable. Apart from Elon Musk talking about only the batteries on battery day, bids are higher on the Plaid model as well. Courtesy, a tweet. Last year on Twitter, when asked about three motors on the new Model S with Plaid mode, Musk replied, yes. To be clear, Plaid powertrain is about a year away from production and applies to S, X, and Roadster, but not 3 or Y. Will cost more than our current offerings, but less than competitors. Check on the date, 11th September 2019, exactly a year ago. And when is the next big announcement? 22nd September 2020. In the tweet, Elon Musk mentioned about a year away from production for the Plaid models. We think you're smart enough to understand. So now, if you're a lucky shareholder of Tesla Incorporated, get ready for an invitation to the limited in-person mega event, which should commence straight away after the annual stockholders meeting at California. And in case if you're not lucky or not a shareholder or both, don't worry. The event is going to stream live, the link of which you'll get it in the description box below. So hold your nerves for September 22nd, the jamboree which Elon Musk described as would be one of the most exciting days in the history of Tesla. And believe me, since the announcement of the battery day, the stocks of Tesla has surged up to 18%. We know you're excited, and so are we. Let us know through the comments section below if you have any other clues regarding the battery day. And please help the luxurious lifestyle by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Yeah. <laughs>